Okay, block ears. Ho, ho, ho! You thought I was gonna let you hear the horn. But you're gonna have to wait until uh, somewhere in the video. But this is the U.S. Edison. A ship, a destroyer. Walking, walking up. A big boat to the boat. Oh. We're walking into the U.S. Edison. And we see long corridors, long hallways, different rooms every which way you look. Oh no! Oh. Even some mannequins <laughs> along the way. On so many doors. step for man. Another for mankind. This oh, right here is you know where this is right? Gun. This, We're this underneath the right gun here? of gun mount fifty three, so I believe. And it is a fifty four caliber okay. round that is shot out of the barrel. It was very nice. And here's even a diagram of where we are. Actually, I believe it's gun mount fifty two. My, my my bad. But now we're heading downstairs where a lot of the engine parts are, a lot of gears, a lot of like the more technical side of things. As you can and tell, sleeping and now we are in the sleeping quarters. We're sleeping the boats. Whoa! Oh, this is like the other side of the boats. There were so many bunks, so little time, a lot of closets, a lot of bunks every which way. We wandered out through the halls. There was a game of chess going on. Actually, there's not really a game of chess going on. And I was a little bit confused as to where we were because I was looking up like, where was that at? But that was uh, when you first walked in, you, it's the first hatch to your right. And as we're walking along the corridors, we see more bunks and more bunks. And you're all like, there's a lot of bunks on this. Just run. And they are lost and cannot find their I did get, I mean, you could have got the lost very easily. But yes, there was a total of around like 200 to 300 um, sailors on that ship. So yes, and we are looking every which way. You are the bunk, on the bunk, you're in the bunk. You are the bunk. Yes, so many bunks. Mirrors, everything, everything you need in a destroyer ship. And as we we're continuing along, there were certain areas where you're like, what is this even? This what is is, is this even? Is this like a break? Is it, what is this? I don't know. What Is this a jail cell? I don't understand. Um, but now we're in the supply yeah, office. Yeah. This was pretty interesting here. There was a weird sounds going on in this room uh, as we looked at the newspaper. And then wait for it, right? And you heard a laugh. There was a little bit spooky scary i guess not really spooky scary and here where we are looking there was a suicide a death that occurred in the aft of the ship in 1967 it was a sailor i don't know the circumstances behind that death but there was also another one that died below decks of a heart attack in 1999 and he was the manager of tours abroad the edson and so there was two deaths on board this ship and one of them was a suicide. This ship was also used as an FBI command post uh, September 1st, 2001. And there was also a book, a classified document that was found aboard the US Edison and was turned over to the NCIS. Um, and moving forward, we're making our way downtown. We're making our way to the engine room. Uh, as we pass the AEFT steering again, uh, where a possible uh, death was occurred. And we're moving onward. We're looking around, track, looking at everything, just trying to catch every single detail as possible as we're making our way. So as we're walking this way down here, if you look through right here, this machine converted okay. ocean water to fresh water for the engines, for the turbines, so because they are prioritized for water. And here we have Freddy Krueger's hand. I don't, I have no idea why this is here. It's an electrical panel room. I, maybe it's like you touch it, you bleed, you die. Uh, who knows? But here, this is really cool though. You see all the gauges and stuff? You gotta think that they all had to know what that had to mean without thinking about it. Like all of it. They had to know without thinking. Be like, this does that thing without thinking. Dude, this would be so hard to like, figure out, be like, what the heck does this do? What's this pressure for? What's that do? What does this do? Is this where that pressure? Like, what? I'm guessing this is comms. Or like, uh, we call down the engine room. Or like, 
Be like you, hello. Uh, full speed ahead. I'm probably not like that. I don't know, I don't know how that would work. Look at like how this is like insulated, fully insulated. Oof. But it got really hot down here though. Really hot. Ooh, what's in here? Why is why is that there? It was really weird. There were some random paintings and stuff everywhere. I was kind of like, why is this here? Is this Halloween thing? Is this what's going on down here? But I don't think so because uh, on this news broadcast for that NBC had, they have like these things already, like they were already on on the ship. So I'm thinking like the sailors uh, painted these on there for unknown reasons for their own personal meanings, and I, I'm just I'm just oblivious because I have no idea why. Please. All these different oils. Yeah, there's so many different oil samples. It's like, what is Are this? These oil samples, current oil samples. Does that mean baseline oil samples? Blue. These right here. There's like white. blue, red. white, red. What does that mean? It reminded me of like Back to the Future when they threw like the different colored, I think, believe wood. To like speed up that the engine, this Some train, the thing? train, the steam engine to go faster, <laughs> you know, like threw the red one in and made it go faster, threw the blue one in and go faster, and you know, like, so on and so on. I don't know if it was in that order, but you guys know what I mean if you've seen Back to the Future. Compressor. Where does this go? I explored like all of the ship. So why is this? It's like really tight. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. It was so oh, tight gosh, back there. Back I thought it was gonna be like super tight every which way you went, like the su like a submarine. Way back there. But it wasn't. I don't like going back there. It's like super claustrophobic. That looks. Man, I can't imagine. See, this is what I thought like this would be like in here, like the whole time. Like, super tight. Well, it wasn't. I mean, it's not taped off, so I don't guess it. Why is there a handprint? That was really <laughs> weird. There's a random handprint. I was like, so okay, weird. okay, handprint. All right, just let there be a handprint there. Handprint everywhere. Handprint up there. Handprint oh, right there. on in my hair. What? That's pretty cool. Look at that down there. Yeah, there's so many like knobs, like like buttons, Guys, so many empty, levers. Is there anything? The other side of the you gotta think, like, the engineers and boiler men, people, sailors, had to know what was what. They had to know what and this so did, what that did, and they had to know what inside. everything did, without, like, even thinking about it. They just had, they just had to know. Like, oh, such and such a thing is broken, oh, we need God. to fix that. Oh, no way. And, like, Let's you're looking at all these pipes, like, how did you know that was broken, you know? Like, Check what? Everything we possibly can see. Before we need to skedaddle. Why is this why is it open right here? Why is this open? Here? Just random Sorry. open space in the back there where all the engine parts like just they the just stop feed the water pump. That's pretty cool. Why? Just why? And like I said, I thought there was like Halloween things going on in here, but apparently, so and mm. not in some places, really there was crazy. just stuff that already was there. It's down there. It's down there. It's dark down there. More gears and stuff. It's a really rusty down here. Well, we make our way back up the stairs. We're just, we're wondering where my parents are. Yeah, they're somewhere here. I have no idea where they are. But they're here somewhere. We're making our way into the laundry room. You can hear everyone upstairs. It's great. Alright, as you can see here, that is the dryer that we're looking at right there. And if you look to steam, steam. the right, that is the steamer. 
to the to the left, right there where I just pointed. That was that's the steamer, like the ironer, you know. And that's the washer right there. You could fit like two people in there. Not that you would put, not that I would know that you could fit two people in there probably. I, that's just weird. Why would you put two people in a washer? But anyway, moving on. Walking down the hallway, we're looking for rentals. I have not seen them, but we do see them at the end of the hallway and we do see the sick bay and we keep in mind oh, that there's so like 200 to 300 thing. sailors the on this bay. boat and there's only one bed in the sick bay you know how many people future. probably have gone through that bed know, a lot how are you i know this is a dishwasher and that it right there there's so many mannequins. There, he was a dishwasher mannequin. He's washing the dishes, you know. But still, there's just like creepy mannequins every which way you look. You're like, okay, the hello, Mr. Mannequin. mannequin. Why are you okay. there? You are a crazy mannequin. I need my hair cut, please. Hello? You cut my hair? No? We were busy? Okay. We'll come back later. Or never. Hello? It was really loud in the kitchen area for some reason the fan was on even though you guys can't hear it right now but it was super loud in there it was also cool to see that like like how they uh would serve food back back in my day well, actually back in my day <laughs> i wasn't alive then but yeah look at all the cool candy look at look at the old candy probably back i don't know like about 50 years ago 40 years ago i'm not too exactly sure on how far how long it will ago it was probably about 50 years ago or so well, yeah, there's about, uh, look at all those candy. Got the old candy, you know, Kit Kat bar, Butterfinger. That was pretty nice. Those were pretty oh. cool to see those. Like the you know, there's the there's admin office. Oh, Only oh, open oh, on oh, Wednesdays. Admin office? JK. Only from 1300 Very to nice. 1530. That's the only one that's open on Wednesdays. I found this one. This is the officer's war. No, this is the officer's country. I like color thief. Can I have a bottle of water? Bottle of water, thank you. And as you see here, probably another officer's uh, bedroom. It smelled weird in here. It smelled really weird in there. And it was right next to the bathroom, which the bathroom actually smelled better than the bedroom itself. The bedroom actually didn't smell very good. It was kind of like, ooh, ew. Make our way onto the main deck as we can see the gun turret right there. A big gun. There was three guns on this ship. There was three big boom guns. 50 cal big 53 54 caliber guns. Five inch barrel. Very big guns as we see the brig there, a bridge there, and the big boom, the big, big cannon, a big boom boom. boom. And we see the bell right there. I wanted to ring that bell, but I was like, yeah, probably a bad idea. I'm probably gonna get kicked, kicked off if we ring that bell. I can just imagine that bell would be pretty loud. Look at that tiny hole. It's very tiny. Hole. One, one dollar. One, one dollar, one pop. Ladder. To the we make our way up to the next level of the ship. We're making our way towards the brig, towards the the citadel, to the commanding post, officers, quarters, to the radio Once room. Go to left. <laughs> when you're lost on the boat, that you get. Oh, hey, look. Look at you. Hello. Hello. Put the nice chair. This is commanding officer's in port cabin. This is a big this bag bathroom. Bag room. Oh, they even got a toilet. This is a shower. I thought this was a closet. This is a shower. I thought that was a closet. That's a shower. What's up? So we're about to make our way into the radio room. Uh, I didn't show a whole lot of here. I just saw the back, like the safe in the back, and I was like, "That's pretty cool." And I look at camera. I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm ca a camera, F filming the camera." What? Oh my word! 
Um, and we're about to make our way to the combat center where, you know, like all the information was directed to the appropriate departments, like uh, the gun director informed, uh, went down to the computer on the quarter deck that operated the guns, the gun operator, and, you know, cassette all the guns, fully automatic or manual, blah, 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 you know, you know, things that uh, would send out to the, the gunners and all that stuff. And there was a little bit of a tape that was going on here, or like a recording. So let's take a listen. Also, guys, we're at the helm here, and if you didn't know, the U.S. Edison was also called the, the Grey Ghost. But before I tell you more, okay, so here's here. the horn. As you were saying, it was normally po powered off steam, but it was only co powered off compressed air. So if it was powered off steam, it'd probably be even more lou louder. As I was saying earlier, during the 1960s, early 70s, this Edison was stationed off the coast of Vietnam, which was active in bombardments using their three five-inch long guns. Early in the war, so Edison sustained some damage from the North Vietnamese and left for repairs. The enemy thought they sunk her, but they did not. The Edson returned to duty weeks later, earning the nickname the Grey Ghost for returning from the dead. That's pretty epic. And that, what we were just looking at, was a fire director, uh, which rotates like a turret from side to side. It has optics no, well, and uh, helps well, well. the gunners like find targets and you know all that fun stuff. And where we were just looking, that was a 50 cal gun. It was very nice. It shoots around 28 to 30 rounds per minute. And it's pretty fast. And now we're in the gu gunfire control room. There's a lot, like the computing power in this room is like less than your smartphone. Your smartphone is way faster than all the components in this room because all of it is like full of vacuum tubes and circuits and stuff. So it probably got really hot in there as well as the radio room. And you know, it's very crazy to think how much we have moved on in our technology as today and here is like all the first named raiders for like the u.s uh ships so all the people that were named after the ships or the ships named after the people and here's another under look of the of a 50 full cal gun i believe this is gun mount 53 um this is where is <gasps> man yeah imagine that thing firing it'd be so loud and now it is time to say goodbye. We're leaving the U.S. Edson and going on our journeys to the, the Sioux. And we'll be on with another video soon with that. But yes, farewell, Edson. You did well to us. We learned a lot. It was great. Thank you so much for having us. All right, guys. Peace out. Have a good day.